Welcome back to How To TV, and we're going to have our new project in this series on the topic of AWS How To Cost Optimizations. Okay, and without further ado, so let's do it. And like I said, uh, we're going to discuss about this uh, AWS Cost Optimizations uh, because this is also one of the popular project that uh, the the DevOps or the cloud engineering uh, uh, do and what we're going to do right now is uh, we have a scenario uh, we're going to optimize our costs for EC2 uh, our EC2 is uh, having a we're having a snapshot on each of our our hard drive so it's the case that if your company want to to take a snapshot uh, weekly or monthly just in case if you're going to uh, reset to uh, roll back your what you're going to do so you can also do that but the downside is if you have a lot of snapshot and you're not uh, using it so it will cost you a lot so that's why uh, here we, go, we have to use uh, certain of services here like uh, lambda and going to execute a, a script on it uh, and we're going to remove if uh, the, ter the lambda is is terminated and the hard drive is also ter uh, deleted so the snapshot also when it trigger that there's no uh, honor on it for your resort for your for your instances it will uh, pop up on us or notify us that we need to delete it so we're, we're going to show you that okay and what we're going to do right now is we're going to search our lambda services you can use your search box okay and after we're going to uh, open our lambda uh, we're going to use in our example our ec2 instances so right now, uh, I don't have an EC2 here. So we don't have a volume. So I'm going to start uh, opening. Uh, I'm going to spin our, our first uh, instances. And we're going to name it test. Okay, test. Uh, I'll go it. I'll go with EC2. Test EC2. Then for our yeah, I'll go to. I'll go with Ubuntu and with T2 Micro. Uh, like uh, as usual, key pair. For what region that I want to? Uh, what I'm using. So oh, I forgot the. the uh yeah it a launch let's launch it and here we successfully uh, deploy our instances okay i'm going to filter it for our newly Open. So if your if your instance is not working, it's not yet uh, visible in our instances. So you need to restart. Okay, here we go. So here is the running instances. So if you're going to check our volume, you see the volume is uh, attached to our EC2. And if you're going to our dashboard, you see uh, 
uh, you can also check your snapshot snapshot don't have we don't have snapshot yet because it's still zero okay, we're going to have our yeah you can also click our tab here for the storage to see to it that we attach our volume okay our hard drive okay we're going back to dashboard uh, click the snapshot and we're going to start uh, creating snapshot okay since we, we do have our hard drive connected to our ec2 and our snapshot are going to use this volume number the id or volume id that we have and then we're going to uh, type the descriptions uh, going to name it uh, test snapshot all right and then create a snapshot so this is our first snapshot so still pending okay uh, going back to dashboard we do have again our first instance that have a volume and we have our snapshot for our first volume okay it's, they're interconnected with each other so what we're going to do here is we're going to delete later on our instances and it will delete the volume if there's no instance it will delete the volume and if the snapshot we forget the snapshot to delete it the lambda will trigger on it and it will remove the snapshots so this is how we are going to to optimize our costs okay you can also use that in our in our uh, company in our organization so going back again to our lambda uh, we're going to start creating our functions okay Okay. Uh, going back to lower lambda going back to lambda click the functions and we're going to name it a cost optimization EBS snapshot okay. so it's up to you guys if you're going to name it uh, uh, not like this functions and the runtime of course we're going to use the Python for our permissions and architecture uh, we, we need to leave it like that so click the create functions Okay, this is our functions and what we're going to do right now is we're going to test our snap our functions but uh, before that we have to get our our our, our script from our python script in our repository so don't worry guys I also attach the repo in our lambda functions so just copy and that uh, remove our default and paste our our script for the python so don't worry we're going to discuss this uh, what this uh, functions uh, all about we're going to save control s and then we're going to deploy click the deploy so he successfully updated the functions 
and what we're going to do again right now is to test click the test and we're going to create uh, we have to give our name for the event I uh, would be test I think I will save on it uh, I was satisfied with that name okay and then again to going to test okay. as you can see uh, the execution of result here but we have a response uh, on it uh, it give us an error uh, don't, don't worry uh, we, we do have to face this error because we need to do something here to resolve on it uh, describe snapshot because we don't have information on, uh, on it for our snapshot and even our EC2 here so if you are familiar with the user role so we have also a, a service role for us that we can execute our service by using the role okay so this is the the error from line 534 so before that we need to resolve the configurations we give our timeout because we we do have a three seconds timeout so we need to give our our timeout would be 10 seconds so we don't need to ex uh, exceed on it uh, on it because it will also cost a lot, uh, us a lot here whenever we give our parameter of 10 minutes so it will definitely uh, give us uh, a high cost so 10 seconds will be enough for these uh, executions and then I'm going to save on it okay uh, I'll save it after that I'm going to forgot uh, the next one we're going to test on it okay we, we do have still have an error okay authorized like I said uh, easy to describe snapshot we don't have permission on it we don't have role for that okay uh, it's very normal for us to have uh, to find a uh, failed script for our execution so what we're going to do right now is going to configurations and then our general I think permission yeah this is this is the permissions we're going to create a role on it so we do have a role here, or a link here. If you notice, we have a role and an optimized ABS snapshot. We can click on that, okay? And it will uh, point us to our IM role, okay? Okay, click, click on it, and then here in IM console. need to add our permissions as for now we don't have permission for our raw permission for for our cost of uh, optimization snapshot so if you're going to, to search on the search bar for snapshot we do the, we don't have a policy there so that's why we need to create uh, a custom policy for that okay so let's click the create policy and it will point us again to the create policy and we're going to uh, select our services because we use the EC2 for our example and then we're going to search what 
actions we're going to do in our EC2 okay because we're going to remove on it remove if there's a case that there's a EC2 is removed we can also remove our volume and our snapshot okay so to the right I think we're going to search for what is that delete snapshot okay check on that and then for the list we're going to check this describe snapshot okay that's it so this this two will be good okay for our resource we're going to uh, select all okay for that for the resource and we, we click next and here's the permissions that we create and we name it our policy to what do you want okay um go with costs optimizations and then EBS okay I'm satisfied with that uh, policy name and then what we're going to do is to click the create policy okay that we will be do that. so we have a policy so we're going to search again on that on our search filter type I'm going to type I forgot that name Oh, I'll go. I'll, I'll, we need to click the role because we're in the policy. So, role, you need to go to the access manager and then role. And then we're going to search to our search box. We can also uh, re uh, return back to the executions where we uh, click earlier and then it will point us again here. Okay. And then yeah. I'm so annoying with this, this pop up. So we're going to add a permissions, I mean a permission policy and we're going to type, I think it's cost name, what's that cost, okay, ah, okay, there, there you go, the cost optimization EPS, okay, click on that and click add permission. Okay, that would be that, and then uh, what's next is we're going back to the lambda, and then go to the code, and I think I need, we need to attach, we need to grant an authorization for this uh, describe snapshots that we encountered error message here uh, click test okay. we, we do have our uh, error here uh, I think we forgot to create for the I think the snapshot uh, describe instance check Permissions, oh, I think the optimization EPS a snapshot. Yeah, we add we we need to add add a permission again. Then we do create a policy, a new policy. So if you remember, we we, we do have to create policy for our ABS right now to our EC2. Still not uh, a 
appear. Okay, so we do have to create again. Not the uh, EC2. Other services, uh, same same uh, procedure, EC2 again. And then we do need to give an actions for our lease. And then I try to search the describe uh, describe volume, yeah, this volume. So we need to delete that volume, and at the same time we need to delete we need to delete the instances. Then we also delete the the volume. Okay, so we need this list for describe volume. And then the other one is instances. Okay, instances. Let me check. Yeah, instances, and then this this list. Okay, describe instances. Okay, check that. Okay, let me check that. Okay, and then next. Right. And we give again a policy name. Don't forget to name our, poli our, our policy name. Then we're going to name it permission, uh, easy to permission. And then create a policy. Okay. Uh, the same procedure again. We're going to attach again to our To our cost optimization EBS snapshot uh, role, so you can go back here for optimization EBS snapshot, and then uh, add a permission, attach policy, and then search uh, the last time that we created. EBS uh, EC2 and then policy. Okay. Do I type it correct? Let me check. Okay, EC2 dash permission. Okay. So this is not still a uh, display. We do need to refresh for the cache. Check again, search again. Not working, still not working. So we need we need to hard refresh on it. And search again for EC2. So that's also we need to do guys it still not uh, appear. So there we go. So check this. Check the checkbox for EC2 permission and add permission. Okay. we do okay successfully uh, give us a result okay how how do we know that so let me check let let let's test again this 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 <coughs> scenario that we have that we do have uh, ec2 and then attach with the volume. We have a volume, and then we have the snapshots. So we're going to uh, make an example. If we're going to remove the EC2, and it will also trigger our our lambda functions. That hey, we don't have uh, instances for this uh, and vo and the volume for the snapshots. Maybe we need to remove the snapshots, so it will right away remove on it. So that is how uh, effective we do here in our optimizations, so that we will not uh, we will avoid and our costly our cost for paying our our resources. Okay, so here I'm going to check and then we need to terminate for this example. 
so this is not only limit for the instances we can use this for the other other services that we we, we, we do on here okay that is how the optimizations are going to help us okay so here right now it's still running I did uh, delete an instances so it, it still uh, see this uh, one instance that we have here and for the volume what we're going to do here is we need to refresh on it and boom we have zero instances instances but still we, we do have a volume we need to hard refresh and there you go we don't have a volume okay because we don't have an instance but we still have a snapshot here Okay. If you click the snapshot, we, we refresh on it. It's still there. So we don't need, we don't want that the snapshot is still there in our, in our, in our dashboard because it will, uh, it will cause if we still have a image there. Okay. This is the the functions how the functions uh, work. So it will did uh, uh, delete if I uh, delete the instances if the the if the instances is deleted and same goes with the the volume but the the logic here that he will also de remove the snapshot that is not connected with our volume okay that is this is how the the script uh, all about here so if you're going to test again you can see that the EVS snapshot is being removed okay nowhere to be found okay so it's a trigger it trigger when you're going to restart so this is also helpful if you're going to attach it to our cloud watch and uh, to our lambda so this, this is how uh, this optimizations work uh, project okay again so I'm going to refresh again so we don't have our snapshot okay so we're going again to So let me check again my note. So where are we right now? So we do have uh, deleted the snapshot. So it's up to you guys to to what we're going to to make this happen to our to our script. We can have uh, a condition there for our lambda. If you're going to create a volume here, for example, if an instance we're going to create a volume and then we trigger our lambda, so it will definitely uh, delete on its own. I will not uh, create a 100 GB because it's very big, so I will give it a 1 GB and then create a volume. We did have a volume here successfully created, and then as I go back to the EC2 dashboard, we do have a volume. Let's refresh on it. Yes, okay. And we're going to go to snapshot. We don't have a snapshot yet. Okay, let's create a snapshot, for example, okay, for our newly created volume. But don't have an instance, okay? We don't have an instance that we created. We do have a volume, but we, we create a snapshot, but we don't have an instance. So what uh, would be ha uh, what would be happen here? Okay. So I created a snapshot for this one, and then let's go back to dashboard and 
to see we have a snapshot and a volume okay. the next uh, thing is we need to test again to our lambda function test and it will delete okay it will delete the snapshot okay it is deleted go back if we go back to the instance and refresh on it snapshot is deleted but the volume is still there so here we can also tweak our 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 code here if we're going to remove our volume if an instance is uh, step present okay so it, there's a chain thing here happen here for the instance the volume so if you have instance you have a volume and there's a snapshot so right now our scenario we, we do have a volume we don't have an instant and we have a snapshot if we trigger the test it will only delete the snapshot but not the volume okay so if you are to have a, a, a logic that you have to remove also the instance it will also work like that okay so this is the code so you can freely uh, modify that that the uh, script that we have okay so this is our first uh, first uh, lambda functions in this uh, channel and I hope that this uh, this tutorial is uh, would be helpful to you guys for your first uh, project for the cost optimizations. Okay, so feel free to to comment or. If, if, you, if you still don't need, uh, if you still uh, not yet uh, subscribe to my channel, so maybe you can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will grateful to make uh, another video like this for a project because I'm also one uh, the one who also decided to be have this kind of project. Okay, so.